And welcome to Bench Monster TV. I'm Ashley Lynn Condre. I am the Bench Monster, the one, the only, the Bench Monster. How is everybody doing this evening? Hey, got something to show people. Hand me that. We barely said hi. I know, but I want to show what I got today from Dimitro. Sent me this. Theragun Pro. That's the best you can get right there, man. I, uh... I'm going to be using that quite a lot. Got a lot of hot spots. Always got a tweak and a twang in the muscle belly and the muscle tendon tie-in here and there. And that uh, therapeutic gun, there's one at the gym, but half the time it's a Radio Shack special and it's the batteries are dead. Well, you had one too that you're... Well, my sister got me one off the uh, Amazon, but if you, read, if you read the reviews, all of them said the battery goes dead and it's worthless. And my battery went dead and it's worthless. It's a paperweight now. So... But this right here, I was doing some research on it, little YouTube videos real quick. Just got it about 35 minutes ago. Can't wait to plug her in and uh, get those lithium battery batteries charged up. And I got one on my arm over here, and you can attest to that. Last night was a, a bicep night, and I spent most of my time on the uh, the uh, dull edge of a plate-loaded uh, incline seated press machine, just digging in up and down. It's somewhere in there. I I got it two weeks ago. The Tuesday night was supposed to be uh, supposed to kind of taper it back a little bit on Max Ever Bench Night. I did not. Uh, I wanted to win, and I did that, but uh, kind of irritated again. But I can I can uh, fix it with this, no problem. And I thank you, Dimitro. You've uh, you've done so much for the Bench Monster and the Bench Monster crew. I can't thank you enough. Just want to get that point across real quick. How about you? You got something in the mail that I got for you. What would, what would I, that be? I got my new, my extra small knee sleeves. And I finally, guys, found a size that works. Medium, not at all. And that's what small, you measured. kind of, but I had to, like, re-put them on every set to get them to be, be up high enough because they fell down. Yep. An extra small fit. Just great. What did I yeah, say? Yeah, I measured. The mediums were what I fucking, what, what I measured to. Yeah. I told you, anything with ends are, you got to send it and back two times. And everybody said that they're sized up, that you should be going up one size from what you are on SPD. And that's what I measured, too. So that's what I got. But the mediums didn't even come close to fitting. I couldn't walk without them falling down. They were way too big. Yeah. Like, way too big. You got a good fit here. Oh, I, the, with that this, day uh... I tried them, I was so mad because I got them on. I'd st walk from, like, the bench to the foot, the squat rack and they'd be like practically at my ankles they would not hey and i me. measured you and that's typical for enzer that's so. bullshit dude like he's got to get his freaking shit together with well that he's tried for many Three, years and he's just third can't it's get it together third freaking knee sleeve if he had it together he'd so have a band shirt that worked is what i gotta go on the in those which is funny because in svds i tried to do s extra small and so what's the difference between those and svds the uh these enzer ones uh, they seem to be a little bit more rigid stiff a little um, stiffer. Yeah. yeah, they don't. The material seems like a poly blend or something. Material, yeah, yeah it, it's. it's I'm impressed a little bit. I, like I mean, them. I but getting them off, off is a oh, son of a bitch. Oh God, get it. See, that's the, the extra smalls. I got them on just fine. So I was a little nervous to go all the way down to extra smalls because when I went to extra smalls on SVD, I could like it was a pain. It was too small. Right. I thought it would be fine. But it was way too small. Like, it took 30 minutes to get them on. If I ever got them on, I had to have help. I had to have baby powder and getting them off same way. Yeah. So I was a little afraid for these. But these went on super easy. Like, no problem at all. Getting them off, like, after, like... Well, you got pumped up and everything. Having they were a, a little pump tight. and probably, like, getting <clears throat> a little more swollen. Um, I couldn't... He had to get them off. I couldn't get them off. You I know, have like, special finesse. I was like starting to have a panic attack. I'm like, am I gonna have to cut them off? I no can't panic them attack. Off. That's for me. Not real. I mean, that's a little dramatic. But like, I I could not. They were not budging at all. Well, you had to work pretty hard to get them off. Yeah, but there's a technique to everything. But we figured it out a way. And so nope. yes, they came in. They are great. They fit great. What'd you work up to last I night? We don't have any video of those. Uh, no, maybe I'll next have week. Have that one for next. I, I realized that early, like a couple hours ago. Janessa, I was like, I never sent that. Um, well, you cut, I, I had like 10 to 15 pounds left in the tank. You cut me off early. It was 11 o'clock. It was, we had to go really late. Yeah, it was night. late. I got to make dinner and. It was, it was about 11 yeah. o'clock. Well, we didn't get there until like nine. So, but I, I totally had 10, 15 more pounds in the tank. 
I agree. I agree. Hopefully you'll get it together by the time your next meet rolls around and you do something spectacular. Well, I'll, probably still, I'll probably still go in round grand. because I really want to get um, my 400. So I'll probably... 400 raw squat. No, in wraps. Wraps? Yeah. I thought I'm sleeves is raw. I'll, I'll probably still compete in wraps. Oh, okay. And try to go 400. And then once I hit 400 in wraps, then I'll try to... Makes sense to me. And hopefully get up to 400 raw too because I'm not too far. I don't okay. think they're too far. I don't think I have too huge of a gap between my sleeve squat and my wrap squat based on what I've been doing. Okay, no slouching in the chair. You're in front of the audience here. Sit upright. Like I wouldn't even like notice if you didn't say it. Well, I'm doing it, so I you must do it too. I'm backwards and I'm tired. Leave me the F alone. Okay, I got a lot of videos Somebody to show. Somebody sent me something about Inzer sleeves. A friend of mine sharing sleeves. Hey, we're not Inzer's reading that right now. We're not doing texting right now. Oh, somebody from the show sent it. Well, we can read it later. When we no, get the I chat. don't struggle getting them off so much. When we get the chat, we can read it. I got to roll some videos here, people. We got a lot to go over here. And and I really appreciate everybody that sends me videos. Uh, uh, CG Morgani, uh, Drew Howard hit a big PR. I knew he would. We talked about it week after week, and he smacked the shit out of that 550. And uh, we're going to start off with Andy Bolton. This one kind of made me smile and brought a tear to my eye. Andy Bolton, you know, back... Back in the day, it seems like yesterday, 2006, seven, <clears throat> he pulled the thousand in, uh, I believe, 2006 or seven. I can't remember. Did it in New York, I believe. Uh, he competed recently, and uh, this is one of his uh, top dead lists from his meet. And um, CJ Morgani sent me this one, I believe. And it's, uh, I left the audio on. There's no music, so you can get the full effect of, you know, the crowd, the energy, and all that. And uh, to see Andy pull again was just, uh, yeah, it, Warm the heart, man. Let's check out Andy Bolton doing his, um, uh, the, the, let's see, the number is on the screen. I didn't write it down. Let's check out Andy Bolton. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, that was cool to see, man. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good to see. That's exciting. And I believe Andy yeah. um, said he he wanted to be it. on the show. Somebody reached really? out. To, oh, yeah. But that's Great Britain, I believe. And that's a day. We'll make it work, man. But we yeah. got to get. Uh... Dan, Daniel Bell, yeah. I know. I know. Don't get all over me. It's been it's been a hectic, we get on him, hectic week, you know, outside of lifting, outside of everything. There's been a lot of uh, stuff I've been having to deal with, um, finances and stuff. All that fun stuff, all that grown-up stuff. Paying it's bills. not really normal grown-up stuff, though. I know. You got Don't fun. get into it. Next up, Dimitro. 375 times six reps to a half board in a dark side assassin bench band. Do I need a backing? No, I don't. We are going to check out Dimitro here. Very clean gym. Ooh. Beautiful weights. Ooh, look at that. Dimitro's getting Smooth. strong. Smooth. Hell yeah. We talk every day, and... Uh, He's the individual that sent me the Theragun cool, amongst oh, a whole, you so much whole bunch of stuff, guys oh and gals. Oh my gals. gosh, he's this, so This generous. guy's amazing. This guy's my brother. I really am. He's family. I love him he's like so, like a brother. Yeah, he's amazing. We've got a bond. It's uh, it's 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 emotional. I thank him. Good job, Dimitro. Kicking ass, taking names, and uh, he did That's send me a video nice too on how to use the cool. the strap, the John Elick reverse band setup and oh, um yeah, yeah so we can actually use it now it was too much brain power last workout and the guys kind of cheated by raising the uprights up to nine feet and then dropping a band on it but we whatever we i can fix it now so hey next up uh drew howard you know we've uh, talked time and time again each week watching him progress and i don't know what program he's using but it's freaking working you know 520 for a couple and uh, here we are with a 550 for one rep. This is raw. He's 23 years young, 265 body weight. I mean, he's knocking it out of the park, dude. And I told him he's got a little bit more in the tank. And I let it be known, I can't even do that right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. I actually was talking to somebody about a raw routine, um, uh, S-M-O-L-O-V, Junior. Uh, one individual, but uh, it, it requires benching like three times a week and stuff. So that's pretty crazy. 
something new, something fun just to do in the off season, you know. Uh, next up is uh, whoa, Nikola Nesterov. Okay, <clears throat> four hundred thirty pounds, seventeen years old. Uh, four four hundred thirty pounds is what he's gonna do. He's two hundred thirty pounds body weight, I believe. He's doing a new program where he benches right here. His max three times per week and two times per week does two rep max with one deload day. This is the guy I was talking to. And uh, this is kind of a crazy uh, bench stuff here. But, um, yeah, let's check him out. He's, uh, this is just one of his uh, bench presses here, 430 pounds. I got to put a backing up so you don't look at us ugly people. And uh, no belt, no wraps. And... Um, His grinder, but hey, he gets it. Hey. Yeah, now that's um, nothing wrong with that white light. He was doing that white program light. I was talking about, and I white light. he sent me a link to it, and I kind of looked at it. It looks um kind of like a West Side Wave system, 75, 80, 85. You wave back, and then another version of one I saw. I, I like to know what people are doing as far as their training. I'm always interested because every program works, and um, that's the beauty of this thing is. Um, doesn't matter if it's uh, West Side or Cube or Five by Three or whatever. It yeah, everything works. But benching three times a week, uh, this program intrigued me because that's how I started out. I benched every day of the week and didn't do anything else. Just benched. And, Obviously, it worked. Well, it worked to a certain point, I think. Yeah. Uh, next up, Cody Plum. <clears throat> no, Cody. No, no intro needed for him. We all know the uh, injury that, that occurred in February. It's so far away from us now. It seems like it's been light years. He's doing, I had, to, I had to check this with this hit. I didn't realize he was this strong so fast. He's doing 420 pounds plus 40 chains, and he's doing it raw. You know, I figured he might be in a sling or a, a bench band of some sort. This is raw. I had to wait for the uh, for him to email me back, but sure enough, um, yeah, raw bench. It's pretty good. Cody's kicking ass right here. I mean, fuck. He's making more on his raw bench than I have in uh, the past four months Jesus. nice son <laughs> looking good that arm's healing up i think it's uh i'm not a doctor so i can't really say but it's been adequate time so, but some people say a year so i don't you know february next year it'll be a full year uh his girlfriend or is it his wife rosanna which one i don't know neither okay honestly, well cody sure. plum's wife or girlfriend i can't remember yeah, or I think they're basically married. I think they're kind of like if they're not officially married I think they're kind of like us where they might as well common law yeah. okay even though it's not in Washington State okay Rosanna uh we wanted to get this video up last week but it didn't send to me so Cody got Very it to nice me now job, Cody and uh she's doing a 402 pound deadlift at the 2022 USA PL Washington State Championship meet I gotta get rid of us and we can watch Rosanna kick some ass on the deadlift platform That's a strong woman. USAPL. Very strict. Noise. Noise. You don't get away with much there, I don't think. No. I think I get a red I get a red light just for walking through the door. Okay. What do we have next? Uh Robert sent me a video. I'm not gonna try his last name. It's G-U-E-T-C-H-I-D-J-I-A-N. I'm gonna call him Robert G for the evening. And he's doing a 490 raw bench. Uh sent it to me to critique his form. We talked about it, and uh Robert is doing an awesome job. And he's got some helpers. <laughs> Great arch, good this feet placement. Good, good width on the bar. He pushes in a straight line, too. I complimented him on that. Self-handoff makes it kind of hard. But pushing straight up in a straight line can take nothing away from him. Good job, Mr. Robert. Mr. Robert G. And your two cheerleaders down there. <laughs> I love the workout partners. Nice lift. Awesome great lift, sir. There. One rep max. One rep. One rep. Are you in the house? Yes, he yes. is. One rep. Boom. One rep. Boom. Uh, doing 475 reverse band press. The 40-pound PR, he said. And at a lighter body weight. And uh, 
We all know what, why the lighter, lighter body weight. We don't need to get into it. Let's check out one rep max kicking some ass on the reverse band press. I love the Atlas. I got the same one. It's mine's got blood on it too from a bloody nose a year back, year or two ago. It's marked. And the correct way to hook up the bands. I'm impressed. Nice. Good job, one rep. Very nice. Cool. Looking love that. Strong. Love that bench yeah. band too. One rep and AJ. I still, I it's still so cool. want to go train with those guys, badass. man. It's very badass. And what's with their gym? Is there ever anybody else working out? It seems like it's a closed gym, and then like yeah, AJ and, and uh, one rep own it. Right. I never well, see anybody else working <laughs> out there. They're, 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 their place. Wish that was our gym. I know. A bunch of I know. cosmonauts we have at our place. I'm so glad that we got there when we did last night, or I would have lost my squat rack. Oh, those two it's, girls it's totally horrible. Would have taken it. Um, probably. Right? They, I don't know. Yeah, they did. They they snatched one, the one up because they wanted to do separate ones because they had different, like that poor guy that was um, squatting in the middle one. They, they were like itching at him to get done. Yeah, well, you got, sometimes you got to fight Are for you your done? spot. He's like, I just want to do one more set, please. <laughs> I remember I squatted for those people. Yeah. Uh, next up, I eight... called it two different times. I was like debated whether I should go because I watched their their previous ones. And I watched. You can tell they're gonna the bomb. Jump same, like, well, that one girl, I, she took like a thirty-five pound jump, and the other one didn't look easy. And I was like, you know, they were going down on the next rep. And I and I had a feeling that the girl wasn't gonna be able to spot. She was fine, but she she went down twice. She I don't want to. I don't mind spotting, but I don't want to hurt myself spotting somebody either. I know, but it was, go... these weren't. Uh, these were three hundred pound squats. Like it wasn't. I wouldn't have asked you to do yeah. five five or six. <clears throat> okay, you're inter interrupting the process here. No, go ahead. AJ Roberts was in the house. I think he was doing some reverse band too. Uh, blasting 745 and in an F8 insert. This made me think, an insert. Maybe that's like the one I have in my Colossus, an insert. You Velcro it to the inside of the shirt. I'm assuming that's what it is. I know that um, um, Smithy told me that he had a two and two ply or something and you could remove one of the inserts or something. And uh, maybe this is what's going on. Anyway, big weight here for AJ. Going through a little bit of back pain. I know what that's like. AJ going to bench a grand. No doubt in my mind. Just a matter of time. Had to go back and watch his lifts uh, at his last meet because I was uh, watching his shirt technique and I was very impressed. Saw this on the yeah. internet. Um, this is pretty good for an old guy. I mean, uh, Mendelssohn. It's um, he was doing twelve oh five to a one board. Um, oh, wow. There's some argument that it wasn't locked. He says it was. I don't know. I'm not there. But we love Mindy, and let's check him out. This is pretty good. I'm impressed with him. I was gonna call him up, but I don't want to stroke his ego very much. Impressive. Great handoff right out in his line. That's where I need to take the bar, guys. Shirt's blowing up right there. Good. Spread that bar. I'm impressed. When was this done? Because I this I saw it on the internet like a week ago. And then it um and then it was down. It was I couldn't find it on his Instagram. It was like hidden, but somebody posted it, thank God. Yeah, strong. Yeah. Strong, Mr. Mendelssohn. And he's not a big guy, like 310, 39. He's not 310. Well, whatever. 300. 10. He, last I talked to him, he was going to keep his weight down. Unlike me, I just blow up and, and can't keep my weight yeah, down at all. Just wants to go north. There, son. Jeez, I wonder why. I don't know. Nights like last Saturday, the muncher. Oh my God, you were eating so much. What happened? And you were like half asleep and you were like, deli like I was you on, weren't uh, making any sense. No. You were standing there like. Yeah. I was I mixed some medications and it there's, turned me into a there's zombie. There's guys nailing on the side of our house. Do you hear that? Hey, that's what uh, sleeping <laughs> meds will do when you combine like, the ones you're not supposed to. I was like, no, there's nobody on the or side maybe of our it was house muscle nailing relaxer. anything. And he's like, I think it's like flexoril. But maybe they're in the sink. Maybe it's in the sink. It's bad, I know. But I, what was I eating? I, I remember getting oh, yelled at. Everything, everything. I know you yelled it at me. Quit bad. eating. I, never, I heard that. <laughs> Anyway, we will move on. And then you went to bed for like 30 minutes and got back up and started doing it again. I, I, I consume over a thousand calories at night. Easily. It's easily. 
Those Uncrustables in milk are just uh, destroying me. egg on. Rice Krispie underwear. treats. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Shut up. In case you guys wanted a All right. mental image. Of Next up. This was impressive. This is um, this is like a world record, I believe, somewhere. I don't know. Uh, first name, uh, as all I have, is N-A-B-I-L. How do you say it? Nabil? N a b i l. He's called the French Phenom. Nabil. He's doing seven oh one a deadlift at one forty eight. I got to put Holy the backing shit. up. Nikes. He's a little guy, but uh, don't let him fool you. Had to crop this one down. It was a small video, but seven oh one at one forty eight. That's uh, I wouldn't think. I take him to gyms all over the country, and we hustle. We put cash, money, dollars on the floor, and uh, Jesus. He takes the money every time. Walks it out, too. Really good. I'm impressed. That was never my lift. Jesus. God darn it, he's got a grip. Three whites. You know what that feels like. Okay, the camera goes crazy. We understand. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, we dropped the camera, too, and everything. Good job, Nabil. Very nice. That's Nabil. insane at 148. 148. Jesus. You got a whole, I don't know if that was a hook grip or a regular. Jesus. I didn't say. What's that coefficient? I don't know, but it's an all-time world record is what he said. Right, yeah. This was an Holy interesting shit. one here. Um, this was sent to me. Um, um, his name is Sean Hayes. He's doing 1235. It's done with weights, actually, but it's a silver dollar deadlift world record. Instead of having like a thing of silver dollars, um, they have weights. So let's check out that. I got to put a backing up to get rid of us, and we will check out Mr. Hayes. This is like uh, strongman stuff here. I don't care. Damn that bar bends. Everything's well, off that's the ground. That's bizarre looking. What's up with the boxes? Well, it's supposed to be like in the uh, World's Strongest Man, the silver dollar lift. It was done like that. X amount. The bar is so far off the ground, and there's actual silver dollars in there. Somebody actually counts them out and. Fills it up, and it's uh, 1,200 in pounds, I guess. I don't know. Jesus Christ. It's a lot of silver dollars. You don't see those anymore either. Mm. Uh, Tony Carlino. Interesting. Tony. Um, two Tony stories here. I guess my uh, handoff partner is, is uh, got a work-related uh, travel plans next week. He's going to Orlando. Uh, it's work-related, and um, I guess he's going to meet up with Tony and train at his gym. That's super cool. Mr. Carlino is doing 1201 to a three board to PR. And he's in a shirt that it just mind boggles me that he can do this with uh, this, this shirt. It did never work for me. I mean, this overkill. I still got it. Wow. That is a shit pot of weight, sir. Jesus. When they let go of that, it's like, whoa. <laughs> Good job, man. Wow. I like his feet placement. That's, that's what kind of where I put mine. Jeez. Tony, that's a freaking nice awesome lift, dude. Tony, very impressive. Twelve oh one. Very yeah. impressive. Insane. It is. If you don't get that in the right spot, it is. Um, it, it can be nineteen hundred or it can be twelve hundred. Take it where you please. Next up, Bruce Mason. Haven't seen him for a while. Had to reach out to him on Ma- Messenger Mason. and say hi and, and touch bases. You know, yada yada yada. Uh, he's back in the gym doing a little training here, and uh, I, that's what got me excited about it. Uh, he's doing 925 to a one board, or a, oh, I'm sorry, my ones look like twos. It's a two board, and uh, putting it up very easily. Let's check out uh, Bruce Mason. I got his name right here. Looks like he's in a F8 shirt, using it correctly. Poppy. Damn. Bruce. Damn. Got a thousand good, pounds Bruce. of you that night. Holy shit. Look easy. Wish that was easy. for me. I struggle now. Very with, nice. With 99 years old. That was amazing. Um, let's That's take a break. Strong people. Are. And uh, let's check shit. out uh, this. This caught my eye. Um, you don't see this every day at your local Walmart, but it had me impressed a little bit. Those are glutes. Almost look abnormal, right? Uh, yeah. That's fucking muscle. I don't know what she does all day. I think that. Because those tie-ins I've never seen before. Now, that glute machine that we have, 
that she does in here. Watch. We have that at our gym. And I used it right there. Yep. I've used that once. I think this I like individual that. does this every day because I've never seen that much muscle. Not that I look, but it intrigued me of to course, see never. that kind of ham hock hanging off. It was, yeah, amazing. I called it buns of steel. I saw that. I was wondering about that. Buns of steel. Yeah. That's bulletproof. Paul Offer. Paul. What's Paul doing? Paul's doing Let's some volume. Paul. This kind of is exciting. This here. is something we don't do too much of. We always one rep max. One rep max. One rep max. I know, I all of our uh, big weights. But sometimes we need to have a day where we do some volume, some threes and fives. I think it's a good thing. Uh, Paul is doing 585 times three reps to a two board in his two ply Colossus bench band. I don't think I need a backing so we can stay right here. I enlarged this so we wouldn't have to use a backing. I love this shirt too. See it, Paul. Do your thing. Did Paul say he's going to move up to 242? He talked last. Yep. Yep. Got a good crew. And the music that was playing, Paul, uh, that was a cool song. I was going to hold my Siri up to it. And um, it kind of had a, had my head bobbing. It was country music, too, I think. I don't know who it was. Maybe you can send me a text message. I don't know a lot of country music. Using the bench block so you don't need a board holder. Good reps right there. Everybody's got shirts on. I see a phenom. Good crew, man. Good, good lifting, Paul. One of these days we can go and, and uh, get in our Lear jet and go down and visit. Hell yeah. Uh oh, I'm out of videos. Nice now job, now it's you. Those are some strong videos, man. We got a strong They're always I, 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 I love it. Yeah, it makes my job easy. Stuff. Very nice job, you guys. You guys killed it. Every single I wish one I could post videos. the video. Oh my shit sucks. I mean, there was some really Mine's all smoke and mirrors. Good stuff. Good stuff. I know and then we go lead into our stuff. Yeah, boo. Yeah. <laughs> Who's playing Maybe the football we should game? start putting our stuff first, and then. <laughs> Who's playing Thursday night football? Oh, my phone down here. Don't have your phone, okay? Uh, let's look at your videos. Let's go over these real quick. You got uh, what do we got? Two squats, a bench, a bench, and a deadlift. Your first squat needs a backing. Okay. So I'm gonna have to put that on, just so you know. Okay. This is a squat. This is you. This I don't know anything. Beltless. You talk. Beltless, three hundred for a double. Ergo sleeves. But not the ones that were a little big. These are the, the small, not not the new ones. And it felt really good. Was... Three reps? Two. I just did two. Okay. I probably could have done a, th a third. What's wrong with that? But I was going beltless. I'm always, you know. Put the belt on. Why? I like to go up high. I like you're gonna to hurt go yourself with 225 with well, no belt. I was cautious, like, and you're gonna blow a disc or something stupid. I didn't, like, you get hurt with lightweight, too. There. Hey, uh, squat two. Let's check this out. Looks like I gotta put it there. Did it button. look like I was getting hurt? No, Did it look like, yeah, okay, helps strengthen your core, and then it makes the next sets feel better. Well, you can train your core, too. Uh, what we got here is three point three plates. I, uh, yes. Triples here. Triples. I think we did like five triples. When was this done? On a Monday or? Uh, no, not a Monday. It would have been Wednesday. Sunday, I think. Because... Sunday. Hmm. How'd you get Saturday? Me... Get me in the gym it was on a Saturday. Sunday. I switched it around. Because I knew it was going to be an issue to get you in on Sunday. So well, I can I watch spotted, a little football on Sunday and I chill. I spotted Saturday where I had a spot, and then on Sunday I deadlifted, so I didn't need a spot. I like to watch the games a little bit. Yeah, and I was courteous of that and switched around my shit. Uh, bench press. This is exciting. Always my favorite. Let's talk about it. What are we doing here? There's Heinz. Oh, yeah. There's Heinz and Cece. Okay, what are you doing? This looks like nighttime. I can't remember all of a sudden. What am I doing? Spotting. You were doing oh. uh, traps and forearms. Traps and forearms, Monday night. 
Forza Alley. One, two, three Forzas. <laughs> A Forza we like Boulevard. Forzas. We like Forzas. All right, so bench pressing. Pausing? Triples. The first one, yeah. Coach Hines over there. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't walk in front of the camera, whoever you are. Damn. I hate when I, they do that. Know, I'm, it's a gym, man. Like, I don't, Hey, walk around. Hey, do you remember what Amber Hansen said that her pet peeve was? No. It was people who get all bitchy and butt hurt when somebody walks in front of their camera at the gym. Because this is a gym. We're here to work out, not dodge people's cameras. Now, yeah, like if you notice that somebody's doing a big set and has a camera, like it'd be polite to to walk around, but like it's a gym. We shouldn't. I mean, yeah, people should be allowed to well, walk. Now, if you go there and you stand in front of it, and, and that's kill, happened to me. That's different, but that's happened to me. When, um, Brandon Horse, um, Larry, um. Yeah, on and on. They've all done it once or another, and it, it happens. And again, when you hey. have a bunch of people there, there's only so many places to be. And yeah, it's and it's only 8,000 square feet. But so. yeah, I've always remembered, I'm pretty sure it was Amber that said that that was one of her well, big Well, I just like the bitch, so. I know you do. Let's go to bench We're press, well too. Aware. What's this now? I see sunshine. This is Friday. This is Friday, yeah. Yeah. Pretty soon it'll be dark at 3 o'clock. That's great. Five sets of seven on this day. Am I done with speed bench? Uh, you're doing assistance work. I gotta get out and start walking. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do something now. I think. Just getting out. I'm just. It wouldn't hurt. It'd be helpful yeah. for you. Well, I'm. And get, watch what you eat a little bit. Don't eat uh, two thousand calories in an hour two period. I just got night. lazy. It's easy. I keep thinking that weight moves weight theory, but I know, but coefficient comes into play too, and health and all that good stuff. That's true. Okay, one thank God, one deadlift. Image, uh, deadlift. Walk us through it. I don't know what we're doing. Um, this was like a light day. I it was kind of like deloading because my back was super. I almost I like through most of the workout, I debated whether I should keep going or shut it down because my back was like so. Listen to your body. Tired. I why well, did I stayed light? I stayed lighter than I normally would. Lighter and, and not a million reps. I think it was just doubles. I did it. I did like six doubles, but I just stayed a, a pretty conservative weight. Will you ever use hook grip? I used to. I used to all the time. Grigsby style. Yeah, I used to all the time. I've I've pulled over four hundred in a meet hook hook grip. Why did you Why did you use hook grip in a meet? Because Roger. Oh. Roger had me training that when I Roger trained Baker, him for guy who wrote time. my diet and got I love Roger saved my life. Now he lives oh, in yeah. Seattle. We found out. Yeah, we did. I've been looking for him. Supposedly in Seattle. Although Quan just told me not that long ago that he sees him at the casino all the time. This was a couple months ago. Well, maybe he's traveling he back. Well, his daughter's probably here. I don't True. know. Who knows? True. Where are we at now? Oh my God, we're I'm falling up. I'm falling to pieces. Um, speed bench. What happened? Let's check out that. Um, I don't know what we did. I can't remember. Alzheimer's. It sets in. I can't remember everything. It's like one day and it's gone tomorrow. Uh, speed bench. Oh, don't leave when a speed bench starts. Okay. Um, looks like uh, two chains. Those are my chains, so they're 20 apiece. That's 20, 40, 60, 80, and the carriers are eight. That's 88 pounds in chain. I am uh, opting to old school raw grip, hitting uh, upper abdomen. Just doing something different. Dan is nursing a shoulder. I believe it's rotator cuff related, could be a bone spur. But all the rotator cuff movements that uh, we do with his arm, flare it up and he needs the MRI. Chris hanging with our weights. I think this was all we had on this Friday. I see three people. 
Only the strong survive, and that would be what you see here every week. Back to back to back. Anything below three board really irritates his uh, left shoulder. He actually benches on max effort night to a three board. So he's not sitting on the sidelines loading weights. He's, he's making an effort to lift. I think on our last set here, we always pause. I'm beginning to hate my chains. I, can't, I keep forgetting how heavy they are. They're little bastards, I'll tell you. They really add up. All right, so that was speed bench, nine threes, nine minutes, whatever it is. We try to move quickly, back to back. Pretty quiet day in the gym when you only have three people, but that's the way it goes. Then I think we decided to come over and do a couple sets of 15 with dumbbells. What's wrong with that? Maybe three sets. Oh, this workout's interesting. This is where Chris beats me uh, on a on a rack lockout. It's true story, man. True story. I I I I saw it. We'll talk about it here in a minute. You sure did. I don't know what the hell I did wrong, but he, I he beat the bench monster. It's funny. Now Chris did miss a workout the week before, so he may have been a little bit more rested. LOL. <laughs> mm. It's funny though. We'll check it out. That was me and Chris doing back to back presses here moderate weight nothing too light nothing too heavy it always feels good to come off of chains or bands and go over there and press some dumbbells because they're really light at the top a little bit of effort off the chest but light at the top and i guess you could do them any way you wanted i guess if you wanted to push them up and close them together and squeeze your pecs you could do that too Maybe I should be doing that. I don't have much pectoral development. I remember one time in my younger years, I used to wear those uh, Lycra tight muscle-y shirts and my boobs were big. Chicks were jealous. That was when I was going to bars and doing other things. All right, I know we don't get every damn dumbbell rep here. That's That would be boring to watch. Oh, okay, so we left the chain. Oh, three chains now. That's 120. 20, 40, 60, times 2, 120. 128 in chain. I know it doesn't look like shit on the bar, but my chains uh, will tell you a different story. I always do a lot of extensions. I think they work they didn't work i wouldn't do them actually i don't see you do any of this here with chains and stuff why not then don't talk to me again i don't get to do all the things i'd like to do because i need a spot for some of these right. things and i'm lucky to get the little window that i have for the things i do 25 and a 10 and three chain. This one here, I should have worn a mouthpiece because I was gritting my teeth. Letting that roll back. All that tension on the underside of the elbow and the elbow itself. There are some tendons that run over that, those monstrous elbows. Okay, so this was a good one. This was uh, hands next to smooth, just doing like a seven inch lockout. But fuck, I couldn't find the sweet spot. I'll talk us through it here, but and it was very lightweight. I was very upset with myself. Now I have been going over a thousand pounds a few weeks in a row, but it's like there, there it is. You know, I have it there. That seems that feels good. If it's too high or too low, it just doesn't come off the the pins. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go three plates. And this here kind of petered me. Like I'm not even really locking them out. Three four then i just didn't want to do anymore it was like i may have had two more in me but screw it chris comes in i think he does 10. just punching them up mm. 
I stood there and watched this. I was like, damn. I was like, when's he going to stop? Impressive. Okay, so I'm going to blow him out of the water, and I only get one, two, and then it was not in a good spot. And I was like, I'm done. I'm upset. Chris comes in. I think he gets three. And we're on the Thompson fat pad, too, so we should have got something. I just didn't have it here, man, and I picked this exercise. I think we might do it again tomorrow. I got to redeem myself, man. I'm embarrassed. Piss poor performance on my end. See, it there, Chris was in a spot where it didn't move. See, and then he finds that sweet spot. Boing. Just pops it up. Two. Just get one more because that's more than I got. Oh, two more than I got. Oh, shit. You know, that's how it goes. Hey, pu uh, push downs, you know, we do them. We don't ever film them half the time, but. Got the monster minivan thrown over the top. Attachment is picked by whomever. I don't care. Always, always finish before we walk out the door. Maybe we did some uh, side delt raises. I can't remember. So that concluded that workout. Let's move into max effort. This night was our third week of going mile. Well, according to Brandon Horse, who keeps track of things and has a memory like Rain Man, um, I guess uh, three weeks ago I went over 1,100 on a two or three board or something. And then we did the reverse band. That was 1,100. And then here we are tonight. Let's see what happened on this night. This was supposed to. This, I was just going to go by feel. And, you know, if, if I told everybody, you know, if you got it, spend it. Pines is gone next week, so I won't have a center guy handoff. So I, I'm going to deload and I'm going to spend it. And it definitely sucked. I think this is 415 or something here. Um, I, on this slide, I want to say that 700 felt like 9, 800 felt like 10, 900 felt like 11, and 1,000 felt like 1,200. That's when the body's a little pooped. All right, what is this? Six something, Ashley? 695, I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. This is I think it's 695. I'm going to put the shirt on soon. Hines has got his uh, half shirt on. That thing's been stretched out, but it works. Thought I had some things. There we go. 805. Got the Pharrell shirt on. Playing in that. Should have had my other wrist straps. Those APTs really didn't have enough uh, support. Just grabbed them out of the truck. Like this shirt. It's got a lot of stretch in it. Fucking, you can shoot. it's bulletproof though. Hines gonna do a, in his triple ply 805. Good elbow placement there. And straight up. That's, uh, this moves pretty quick. Jose in a four ply. He's gonna buy a three ply from me, but this this was this uh, out of Hines' uh, garage here. Left, uh, left it there somehow, but uh, four ply here. He's gonna do 805 to a three board. I think he's got two great shirts now, but we'll we'll see if he's interested in the other one. He's a secret weapon. Um, nine fifteen. Okay. Two people said it touched the board, and then two people said it didn't. I think it kissed it. Not a lot of pop, I'll tell you that. Ein's gonna try it. And his uh, Deadpool shirt matches the weights. I don't know if he gets this or not. I think this binded up on him, which was a shock because he took tremendous weight down the week before on reverse band press. 
I don't know what happened here, but it really bound up. Like, I don't, he didn't know, I didn't know either. Jose's going to give this a shot at 805, I think, in the trip. No, that, or is that Dan? That's Dan. Never mind. Dan's doing this right here. Shoulders feeling good. Good to see him pop up weight. Here's Jose again in a four ply. He's got the sleeves up. And this is a big weight here, 9, 915. But he'll do it. Doesn't shake. He's got. He's got horsepower too, man. I don't know. The people you find at your local gold you got him in. Come on. That was a down and back. Let's go. Set up right. This, um, All right. Let's go. Bit, but... Let's go, Ryan. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, one, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. There you go. Yeah. Break the bar. Set up. Yours, Ryan. Did it collapse a little bit? Two words. Press. There it is. Actually, there's two. This is the off. I hit the board. I just pushed it like, get off of me pressure was there um rolling dumbbells on the floor why not some people like to do max effort and then walk out the door the main movement and then don't do the accessory stuff but you got to do it all you don't have to but those who train harder and smarter will prevail over laziness. Uh, this is one of my favorite movements. I did uh, 135s for five one time. I want to get back to that. I want to get to 150s. But I'm kind of scared. Daniel Ryhove, you know, kind of tore his tricep off the bone with uh, rolling dumbbells with 150s. So I'm kind of scared when you see something like that. It makes you think. It can happen. It can happen with 80s. Just, you know, rolling them back and the old body just gives up. Got the new Easy Curl Bar. I like it knurling on it it's straight it's not bent yet and uh i like to do extensions sometimes with bands we did like four sets of 10 here i believe nobody really wanted to do anything and i didn't want to either but i knew i couldn't walk out the door being the the leader that i am i have to even though i didn't want to i was tired body fatigued be honest with you, the last two days just kind of ugh. Definitely need a deload. But you know, we all those board presses, you know, whether it's reverse band or whatever, three weeks in a row, same exercise over 90%, you'll start to go backwards. Should have locked in a four press there or something else, some other movement, and that might have saved us. Um, but either way, yeah, deload next week gonna be uh, uh i don't even know if that's a video you want to see i don't know what we're gonna do maybe 275 315 for some reps triceps will be heavy but uh, no pressing movements gotta let these things front delts cns let everything kind of catch up mustard catch up okay oh what the hell's going on over here this isn't my business you sure it's, it's not your, your business it's, You're not gonna it's take your over. job we got Paul Offer in here first. Hey Paul. guys, how's it going? Hey Paul, nice lifting, great video, great lift. Good to have you here. It's going pretty good. Hope you're doing well. Hope things are going good for you. Glad you're here. CJ Morgani, what's up everybody? What's up CJ? What's up, CJ? Thank Glad you for the you're video. Here too. Good to see you. Great video, great lifting. You guys are all so impressive. It's amazing. Tiny Meeker in the house. Tiny Meeker. Good evening. Hope everyone is having a strong, powerful week. Not very strong week for me. Thought not you, really. You were... I, had, I had a strong week good. like the two weeks before, but not this week. You had a good workout. It was okay. I thought you had a good workout. It was heavy and I, I was... Ugh. I mean, yeah. I want to come in and have a thousand. That hasn't felt like this in a while where you come in and like... You know, I, I just stated, you know, 700 on, on max effort night felt like 900, 800 felt like 1,000. Sometimes you come in and like like a 1,000 feels like 700. That hasn't felt that way in a while, but that's just the old body. I got to let it heal and sleep and eat and all that good stuff for the pyramid, e eating, sleeping, training, maximizing all those factors. And when I was yeah. 25 years old, I could I come in and do it. 10, 
15 years older than you were back in those days. Yeah, and everything like, pops and cracks now, but... So you might have to just accept that, like, your body's I don't. not going to... I want to You're train like 50. I'm. No, that's not to say that you can't do huge things at that age. Yeah, it's Bill Gillespie. Just not going to necessarily feel like it did. It doesn't at feel 25, like it. 25, 30. I'm almost half tempted if it's good for me to bench heavy every uh, 10 days or something. I'm willing to try something a little different. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. And then I we have them. Everybody oh. else is making progress, but. All right. You're making progress. I know. I, I'm mm. just crying on some shoulders. I want. Tiny to cry. I'm going to show with Tiny. <laughs> All right. Um, Mary asks you, hey, Mary. Good to have you here. Hey, guys. Love the new flag. Ta-da. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, I put that up today. Fuck Joe. Yeah, tread on me. Had to go, but uh, let's go, Brandon. I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah, hey, we put it. Hey, have check it out. Have we ever had a president in history? No. Where at all these different, like, no, anything where there's an audience, the audience is chanting. Fuck well, you. They, they've been booed, but yeah. Hey, we, you know what? We put that well, yeah, flag up. That's di- this is that's different. Do they know the story? Uh, we put the this flag up in the um Trump 2024 flag in, in our know. gym. Do you guys know that? And they story? got so many complaints from a certain ethnicity. Somebody, somebody people. said it went viral on Twitter, which viral, I can never yeah, find. Yeah, viral it. to them's like th- but they twenty. But said posts. it went viral at the, at the gym. Somebody made me laugh. I remember when we hung it up that night. You could just look around at people and the eye rolls and the oh, it tickled me with a feather just to know I was pissing those people off. Yeah, we had this. We had Trump. Uh, Trump. Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Make America great again. It's over there. Might was, go up was soon. Was there another one, or was it just these two? Just those two. Yeah, but it, it caused a, a ruckus. Yeah, they went down real fast. Did yeah. they make it a week? They made it like seven, eight days. Yeah, yeah. Made me laugh though. Yeah, it still does. Apparently didn't like it. Apparently, a couple people even quit or threatened to quit. <laughs> I think I think one person quit too. I'm like, if you're gonna quit because yeah, you're not quit missed. a good gym. Yeah, because of something that they have on the wall that's not i mean if it was something horrific but it's just they're, they're, it's well, a private gym if they did it at golds it'd be a little different that's corporate like it's a very yeah, public this is a private this is a private owned gym the owners have every we right also have to hang up what they want the pow flag the don't tread on me flag the blue Which line the red have line bitched about that too and the american flag so, so people bitch about everything because yeah. it's that era of of pansy ass life yeah bitches of just Never mind. Just go forward. Nobody wants to hear us talk. You, you were the one that started that. I was talking to myself. Okay, well, we can't do that. Tiny one. Meeker retracted. I don't yeah. know why YouTube is doing that we're shit. We're wondering, Tiny, did Tiny retract it or did something? We had that problem last we week. We had that it, problem last and week, and we even... saw it last week. We saw somebody type something. I saw it come up, and then I saw it. Oh, God, it. I was supposed to have cheeseburgers here again, probably. Dave. Uh, where are your cheeseburgers? Well, I didn't have them. I keep forgetting. Should call DoorDash to get them here right now? Yeah. I don't know if I got to eat a whole bunch of them or what, what he wants me to do. I can't remember what the deal was. Yeah. yeah it, it was something like that. And I like cheeseburgers. Yeah, we can do that. We can eat a lot of cheeseburgers. All right, Tiny, what's his next? Tiny Meeker, that was awesome to see the goat Andy Bolton pull big again. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It, it made me tear up a great. little bit, man. Yeah, it was really good to see. He's a great he guy, so man. Genuinely Down to earth, happy. gentle giant, and, yeah. super nice. No, that was very. We're very happy for him. That was really good to really good to see him and Marcus Schick and just the old crew back in the day at the Arnold. Yeah, good old days. Right. You know, but hey, he's back. He's back. He's, back. he's working it. He's yeah, back on the platform. Good. He's great safe. to see. Very nice job to Andy Bolton for sure. Uh, one, one rep. rep. I think Cody forgot to struggle on that one. I know, right? It was yeah, easy. So Put some weight on the board, buddy. That looked easy. Easy. It's a good lift. Looking strong. Looking strong. I'm just so blown away by his recovery and how fast he's gotten back and gotten strength back. He's and... got that mentality. I, I mean, he's he's a warrior. Oh, yeah. So... I was really proud of him. I mean, he didn't he... miss a step. Like, nope. Neither is high. Or, um, he was in there on the Brandon horse is in there, too, with Same, one arm. Yeah. Doing... Oh yeah, yep. doing doing that, doing you know over four hundred pound squats with the safety bar with yep. one arm. Yeah, doing good morning. Well, he got a lot of advice from Ryhove about what to do. What so, you could do? Yeah, and that was smart. I mean, yeah, reach out to people had a, that had similar had problem. Injury. He reached out, got some solutions, got some things he could do. Got very very impressive people that we 
are surrounded by. It's awesome. I love it. Um, one rep again. How are you guys? I hope your week went well. Going okay. Going good. Going good. Had to pay property taxes this week. I was like, there's some things outside We're of the gym this week that have been crazy. Yeah. School's been nuts this week. Kids We've are crazy. Had a couple rough, we had a couple really rough days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very. I, 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 had to, I had to take my badge off. It was in my pocket today because I I was having it get like yanked and having issues. <laughs> it was it was rough, rough week. Kids just never, aren't the same I, uh, they were in 1983 when I was in third grade. Well, and the room I'm in is especially like yeah, yeah. but still. Anyways, no, no, that's it's very true, very true. Like I've been working with kids for about 15 years now, um, 15 in gymnastics and then 10 at school and gymnastics, and it's just not not the same, not the same at all. It's it's crazy, and if it just keeps getting worse, I fear for the next. 10 years oh. all right drew howard oh okay. look at drew hit it drew howard 600 coming soon hell yeah i appreciate you guys having me on great show tonight hell yeah dude good stuff good drew, stuff you start, anytime you, send your you videos 600 man i'm 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 gonna get off my ass and try to do that too <laughs> yeah, man that's awesome looking strong dude looking strong it's there it's there you just can't I'm going to pick your that brain, brain, Drew, and ask you how you train because I if, I want to, you know, if there's something you're doing that we're not, you know, that I can co incorporate if you're willing to share, you know, training advice, you know, I, I definitely would like to uh, throw some new things into our movements. I'm not a one-way street, man. I'll branch off into dirt roads if it pay, if it uh, puts five pounds on my bench. All right. Paul yeah, Loeffler. Hell yeah. Good to, good to have you here, Drew. Great to have your video. Paul Loeffler, I passed out. On my third rep with 585 on Tuesday night, as soon as I locked it out, I have a hard time doing reps with heavyweight because of my asthma. I was wondering if you're okay, Paul. I saw you lay there and you kind of were weren't moving. I like, saw it, yeah. Yeah, asthma. That's lungs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I understand. That's scary. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, don't. Yeah, careful. when you pass out, you definitely don't want them um, pulling you up and sitting you up too fast. And I don't know. I don't know what. Um, what the best thing to do is if you pass out, probably. you don't know, sit somebody up and, and try probably to let him let yeah. him lay and you recuperate type of thing. I w that's what yeah. I would assume. Just kind of make sure he comes to pretty quick and Show scary, it. but very nice lifting, very impressive video. Yeah. Appreciate it. Showbit Jane, hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. How are you, Showbit? How are things going in your neck of the woods? Hope. Hope things are going great for you. One rep max. Oh, there's people. Oh, okay. So this is. It's about his gym. Oh, there's people there. Haha. Ha, but I think AJ and I scare them off. Haha. Ha, just kidding. This week they had a photo shoot and they're just recovering from a flood or something. So I think that's why it was empty as fuck. Oh. And we train at 10 a.m. So. Probably not, yeah, not not a super busy time. That's a good good time to be able to go in there and train for sure. That's at our gym. That's I think yeah, ten a.m. is dead. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm windows. just not out, out of bed yet. Half the time. That's ridiculous. I'm at work. Uh, that's why. I like to step late. I do too, which is a problem because we do why. have to get up for, for pretty early. Not as early as some people. Oh, but I got information about your car too. About the how they want to fix it. Okay. Better think about it. Why? They want it, uh, I think, next Friday until Tuesday. So you're going to be without a car for that much time. You want to rent a oh, car? no. I don't know what to do. You can't be carless for that long. I no, thought it was going to be a day or something. Oh, shit. She goes, yeah, we'll have it Friday, Saturday, and then uh, we don't work Sunday, Monday. Probably have it to you by Tuesday, which will probably could, Wednesday. Could we change, like, the appointment yeah. day so that it's not, I, not days where they have off, where it's just... Uh, I, I, she wrote us in so no one else could take that spot but you need to call them and schedule it okay all right matthew brooks hey guys all because it some asshole piece of shit backed into my shit and drove off i'm so freaking pissed all right sorry where were we at matthew brooks matthew brooks hey guys how's it going going good how are going you matthew good. other than my car issue that we just got brought up again now i'm all angry again bullshit xanax cool down no, 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 but that pisses me off. But other than that, it's it's going pretty good. Good to see you here, Matthew. Hope everything's going well with you. 
Glad, glad you made it. One rep has some information about Mindy. Please read it to me. <laughs> One rep, Max. The Mindy video was done right after last year's Baddest Venture. Maybe one to three weeks after that, eleven twenty one dump. Ha ha. So this was a while ago. This wasn't. A very, oh, it was not, wasn't recent. Wasn't a super recent video. No. Oh. Okay. Well, you know, I saw it and I was like, wow. Okay. I feel like we, you ha might have had it on before. He probably, you know, had a little bit of gunpowder in the in his pipes still, and uh, good for him. That was a good. I, I impressed when he takes that weight out because, as much as I dislike him sometimes, I still like him. <laughs> <laughs> you love him. Yeah. It's like, Paul. It's like a brother. Yeah, yeah brother from another mother. Paul Laffer, I'm going back to 242 weight class. I've already gone from 219 to 232. I'm drinking four weight gain shakes and three meals a day. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll hey, do it. Paul, don't forget to get up in the middle of the night and have Uncrustables and whole milk and um, things like of that nature, too. It's easy to get 1,000 calories at night. It's weird, but I get up to pee, and then I go to the kitchen in the dark and just sure grab is. things. And I know where the milk's at. Right well, yeah. out of the jug in your underwear. Yet if I do it during the day, it's a sin. Yeah. All right. All right. Sunny Farooya. Sunny Farooya. Took 5.30 to a one board yesterday in a bench daddy single ply. Radical black. Feels great getting into overload training. Sunny, nice. do you have a video? Where's that video? I was going to say, where's that yeah. video? Sa video, Sunny. Yeah. Send it in. We want to see it. Everybody's got cell phones, you know. Just take a little it. shot. Yeah. You'll set it up. Maybe you don't have nobody to hold yeah, the video. If you, if you have the video, send it. Yeah. If not, get video next time, man. In case nobody knows where to send the videos, it happens to be at benchmonster at gmail.com. That's where you can send them. Keep in mind, I usually don't open them until Tuesday night or Wednesday morning when I work on the show. So really if you send it and there's moment. information in there, I I, cause I don't open them because they stay highlighted. So I know when Wednesday morning comes, I'm down here, I'm all excited, and I start opening them up emails, and uh, that's that's when I do it, when I do it. But please send me videos. Always love to see what you guys are doing. Yep, definitely want to see Matthew Brooks. Video. Matthew Brooks. Did you ever figure out what that meant in regards to the four ply F8 or fate being two plus two ply? I'm beginning to believe what uh, Doug Smithy told me on the phone was he before I ordered my uh, four ply, he said get the two by two. That way you can take out, you know, like uh, like I think AJ had. He had a, um, an insert. So I, I in the, my shirt, the uh, Colossus has an insert too that is Velcroed in and uh, an extra layer. So I'm I'm assuming that there's parts that you can take out. I don't have that. It's just a guess. Next question, please. The Ukrainian freight train. I was in the Ukraine once. Wish we the could cool go back. Name. This time we go back with AKs and ARs and we uh, go kill the russians uh oh yeah i think i violated you youtube's ter YouTube terms and agreements i, I said i was gonna oh, kill somebody yeah you, this might get yanked we'll see what happens your feelings man the ukraine freight train ryan thanks for the input on my bench rob rob g rob g equals you okay yeah. <laughs> nice all right i'd be curious to hear your take on smolov Junior, junior program, program yeah we, that's what we talked about i looked that program over it looks it would definitely be weird i've never in a long time have benched uh, three times a week but um that new uh type of stimulus to the body might be a good thing it would have to be worked in um but i would yeah i've looked it over twice now actually rob so yeah uh -huh. Howard Weingarten, yeah, I love the new flag with the seven hundred dollars a gallon gas down here in California. I saw that seven dollars a $7. gallon. Seven dollars. I was like, wait, this is horseshit. Is that seriously what it yeah, is? Yeah, it's serious as a heart attack. I thought, wow. Somebody needs to fix that, and it ain't gonna be numb nuts back here. 
Word, no. it, word on the street is the midterms are coming up and he's going to release some uh, of our crude oil and bring the prices down so you'll be more tempted to vote for him. <laughs> but he ain't got a God's gift in hell to, to, do a whole to uh, get lot reelected. Lot. I would not, I, yeah. There will be martial law and uh, World War III before that happens. Just... All right, what's next? Tiny Meeker. I posted go at okay, so this is what got this is what got retracted and he actually it sounds like pulled it. I posted go Astros. I pulled it because I did not want to jinx the game. Oh. I also love seeing you press over a thousand pounds. Are the Astros doing pretty good? The Mariners got the Mariners are out. popped out, out of there quick. They were out by on Saturday, I think. Are we down to like four teams now or something? Should be close to that. Are I the think. Yankees in it? Hey, what about, what about that, uh, the Cleveland, whatever they're called now? Oh, what was it? Guardian. Is it Cl- Cleveland Guardians? I don't know. I think that's what it was. I guess they had to get rid of Cleveland I guess the Indians. Astros are doing good, huh? Yeah. I don't stay up on baseball too much. I just started watching again because somebody said the Mariners were doing good. And the minute I watch, they lose, and they're out. They I'm were in jinxy. the playoffs for the first time in, like, 21 years, I think. It's weird. I start watching games and then I want the team to win, they lose. Like they've never been to a World Series. I really want Tiny has some videos. Thank you. Nice. We're hurting for content. We're not hurting for content. I just say that. We've got some amazing videos, but we would love to add Tiny's videos. Yes, please. Into the mix. So definitely send those, Tiny. We'd love to Mm. love to add those in here. Every we'd all love love to have that. For show. And I, if Tiny, if you had posted a video somewhere, I would have grabbed it off the net, but I haven't seen any videos. You've been laying low. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't seen. But I think. I don't know. Uh, and you're supposed to look for videos, too, when you're on your phone all the time. You see some cool lift, forward it to me so I can put it on the show, too. You're on there more than I am. Okay. CJ Morgani. I don't know about that. CJ Morgani, no doubt in my mind, Drew will be hitting 600 soon. Guy works hard. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And yes, he will. And we can't wait to see it. Definitely can't wait to see it. We will have it up on here as soon as he does it and sends it. Well, well, I think 575 first and then 585, you know. Yeah. Okay, what's this next one? Mr. Basic Helix Loop. Have you ever tried benching once a week to facilitate recovery? Mr. Basic Helix Loop, um, if I was to do that, what would the workout consist of? Would it be a and how would it be, how would the wave work? How would the block work? Um, I w- would be willing to try, but I have this mindset. You, would, you wouldn't ever do once a week. I have this you, mindset. Your heart wouldn't be like you. I have to handle big weight to get acclimated to it, to get get comfortable holding it. That's what I did years past i always went to a thousand quite often and it just became nothing to, to get it out and you know it just it didn't even raise my heart rate now when thousands on the bar i'm fucking thinking twice about it it's like fuck oh i swear to god the earth earth's ma- magnetic pull is different in our Not gym that you're 20 years older that's nothing to do with it it's something else <laughs> i mean i know like you can still do big things i mean bill gillespie has proved that to us for sure my training has to change because of my age i really think it does I, I should get a hold of bill and start picking some brains of uh some of the older gentlemen that can help me out because i'm not getting any younger that's another thing I, i'm rushing i gotta do, I do so much because birthdays are coming around what isn't another one coming around six months or five months march you got a little ways but not yeah, not happy about that. Well, at least I'm still having birthdays. Just when you don't have one, you're in trouble. True. Okay, where are we at? Mr. One Rep Max. And yeah, you can see Mendy is still wearing F8 Fate shirt rather than his own X Factor brand. I know he had one, but he hmm. gave it to his training Interesting. partner. Interesting. Well, why well, would he not be wearing his shirt? If it's it the best work. one out there. And exactly. Well, I... And uh, Matthew Brooks here comments, that's odd. It is a little odd. Well, Mindy's known to that, bounce around shirts. Back in the day, he would be with Inzer for a while. Yeah, but if you created your own shirt with... and it really worked, you should be wearing yeah. that all the time. Like, if it truly worked as well as he it's, he says it does, he'd be wearing it all the time. Yeah, he, Why would he, you would, he would bounce around. Um... One rep max at Matthew Brooks. Yeah, because it hasn't come out yet at it hasn't come out yet at the time. He didn't start making it until 
late last year. Okay, so so like so he okay that makes okay so he it wasn't out yet at this time when he was born. yeah maybe so yep all right I yeah. think that's last year's when he sent me one and I it went up to my forearm right here and I couldn't I had and he never sent you another one didn't ever send me another one I drove it down to him handed it to him in a box I said thank you and he was like get you one that fits soon yeah. <laughs> and I got nothing <laughs> that's the love. <laughs> Yeah, at least well, you try. At least you got one. I think with the Ukraine story after the uh, podcast, uh, definitely not getting a shirt. Might have hurt your chances. Yeah. It's it's Drew Howard. Drew Howard. I do mainly triples, doubles, then singles on my main heavy bench day. Usually three weeks of each for a cycle. Deload every fourth yep. week and do speed work only or high reps. Decline close grip helps me a lot. Decline close grip. Okay. Thank you, Drew, for the information interesting it's working for you sir yeah yeah Yeah, definitely found something that's working for you might be something i throw into my routine now and feed to my guys matthew brooks one rep max okay i thought you meant he like he's using an f8 nowadays yeah that's what i thought that's kind of what i thought it meant too that's how i took it as well at matthew brooks gotcha (laughs) haha my bad bro (laughs) okay so He's probably is using mainly his shirt these days. I was like, I know see, I've seen videos. See what he's doing. Yeah, you ought to check on him. Make sure things are going okay and see what he's up to. Isn't the WPO coming up too? That big one? Daytona somewhere? No? I don't know. Hoff training for it. When is it? I October, I thought. Then yeah. Then yeah, it should be coming up pretty yeah. soon if your shirt's in October. All right. Uh, Drew Howard. Drew Howard, after my top set on heavy day, oh, I, you read that? No, you didn't. No, read that. I read the other one. Sorry. Read that after one. my top set on heavy bench, I go down and hit five to ten re- sets of three in the 70, 80 percent range. Mm. I do that for around five to six weeks, then cut down to four to six sets of doubles at eighty-five to ninety percent. Dead bench also helps me if. Dead bench. Is that when you lay in the power rack with the bar in the pins on your if chest? If I need more power off my chest. So you, you drop sets, huh? After we go up and hit our maximum, drop down and do some uh, reps at a certain percentage. That's interesting. It's something we don't do. The arrow. Does the arrow mean I need to? Helps me if. Um, I need more power off my chest. I do eight to twelve sets of singles around sixty to seventy-five percent. Put the rack about an inch to. An inch and a half, where'd it go? Off my, off your chest, then fire away with explosive power, 30 second rest periods, rest between sets. Yeah. And Tiny says, I have, oh, wait. Hey, go back sorry. up to your, I'm, you're losing me right here. Matthew Brooks right here. Matthew Brooks. Sticking, sticking the, the structure here. I know, I know, but I just wanted to finish. I Drew saw that. Howard, a, or, yeah, Drew Howard's got some good advice. We'll read it for again, the, too. the tips, Drew. Yeah, yeah. Matthew Sounds Brooks. like a good plan. Matthew Brooks, just curious, how do you try to structure the rotation of your max effort bench? I know it's all shirt or slingers, but how do you typically decide boards, reverse bands, floor press, etc., week to week? Well, what we usually do is pick two weeks where we bring the bar to our chest. That could be a uh, slingshot to the chest and then a decline. And then the third week, we try to get the bar off the chest. And that would be a board press and a board press. Usually that type... Usually if we bring the bar to the chest uh, on decline and then we come over and do slingshot on the regular bench and then we do some other thing where the bar comes to the, ch- the third week, we're, we're shot because we're, we're bringing the bar to the chest too many times and maxing out. So it's usually a, a, a week to a board, next week to the chest, next week to a board, something like that. No more than two weeks in a row is kind of how we've been doing it. It's how I do it. Maybe there's a different way to do it, but that's how I kind of structure it. Four week wave, you know, we'll, we'll pick incline, decline, slingshot, and then a big uh, shirted board press. Now we're kind of stuck on getting in the shirt for two weeks and doing reverse band uh, to a board. Told the guys the other night that we're going to have to start working on openers and finding weights that touch. All these board presses are kind of cool, but in a meet, you kind of got to touch your chest. So we need to find some shirts that uh, get us on the board in a contest because we might be competing soon. From what I'm told. So. Always followed up by a lot of tricep work. As you know. 
There, wait, Tiny Meeker. Astros up two games on New York. I thought New York was in there. Guess they're not very good. But they don't have A Rod anymore and all those guys. Clemens. Yeah. Not the same team that they once were. Oh. I mean, the, they made it this far yeah. in the playoffs. They knocked Seattle out. That was the game I was watching the other night. It went 18 innings or something. That's what Heinz 18? told me. I was just watching it in the gym from afar. I couldn't see how many innings. A but I, bit of it. I saw they lost, and it was... It was, it was Saturday that they... I don't know. I thought it was Saturday. Paul Loeffler. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was Saturday. Well, I guess I'm not sure. Okay. Paul. Paul. Paul Loeffler. Paul Loffer. I can see your dirty look in the thing. Oh, I never dirty. Shit. Paul Loffer, I do wake up in the middle of the night and down a weight gain shake and peanut butter and jelly sandwich. There you go. There you go. You know what's up. You know how to do it. I like uh, donuts too. I know you do. You like anything and everything. Those, Muffin, those maple one, maple cinnamon. bars. Oh. Remember you used to get those big old uh, uh, variety pack maple bars, the brown ones with yeah. the frosting on them? You just get up and just go like this. Every night, 350 pounds. And Jesus. I and I kept telling you those kids would come in the middle yeah, of the night the and I'd feed them donuts. Kid, neighborhood kids were coming in your feed. It was donuts. me. I, I, oh, shucks. I really thought it was the neighborhood kids. Yeah. Boy. Fatso, fatso over here. Yeah. One rep. I knew who it was. Okay, guys, I got to start getting ready for work. Yep. Sorry I wasn't as active as usual. All right. It's okay. It's all as long right. as you're here, we, we love understand. you. understand, yeah. We love our one rep max. Sorry I wasn't as active as usual. You know that stuff. I'll see you next week, guys. Hope Miss Ashley got the vid I sent her on the sleeves. Have a great week. I did. I did, and you I did? Res I did respond. Yeah, I think I hit send. Okay. Well, I, I, I typed the, you something. With I want to see the video. How to get those thank things you. off? Yeah, after the show, we'll watch it. I okay. didn't get a chance to watch it yet because we're on the show, but I will but watch. Were, I appreciate. Well, it was glued onto your legs. I couldn't get them to move. Oh, but they went on so nice. It's just I guess I get you got pumped. enough pumped. Yep. But, yeah. Drew Howard. Oh. Read this again, please, so I can. And put it into this mind. I need more power off my chest. I do eight to. It said if I need more power off my chest. I do. I do eight to twelve sets of singles around sixty to seventy five percent. Put the rack about an inch to one and a half inches off your chest, then fire away with explosive power. Thirty seconds rest between sets. Just straight weight. Okay. It's very nice. I need power thanks, off my chest. For the That's definitely advice. It. It definitely Appreciate can be it. useful. Always good to get different tips and tricks from people that are having lots of success. Tiny says, I have posted some. So I'll have to go scour have to the go internet. Scour the social media web. And save video. Save video. And then, yeah. Let's Drew see. Howard says, thank you, CJ Morgani. Appreciate it, brother. Doing my best. CJ Morgani, make sure to use the extra crunchy peanut butter, Paul. Double decker sandwiches are nice, too. Oh, double decker peanut butter. I emailed Jeff because I was pissed. I know I, I grew up on Jeff regular creamy peanut butter, which is great, but they got a, uh, a reduced fat one, you know, because I'm I'm fat. So and I think it tastes better. It tastes I like a little it better. better. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. But I um, they I emailed J Jeff direct. I said, Hey, what's up? I want my reduced fat. And then they gave me the whole spiel how they had the uh, salmonella outbreak. It'll be on shel shelves soon, and no sooner a couple weeks later it was there. And I grabbed it like it was gold. Goes great on celery and graham crackers and oatmeal. Just on and on. Uh, Howard Weingarten. Yes, yeah, someone has paid the gravity bills for this month. That's for sure. And I believe Mendy has his new design that kind of looks like the F8. Ooh, copyright infringement. That's good. <laughs> Lawsuit coming. Good to see you, Howard. Howard in the house. Howard Weingarten. Yes, the WPO is coming up in November yep. this year. Okay. Yeah, I think Hoff's going to do quite well out there. And everybody else, too. What's Hoff going to do? 12, 12 plus squat. Probably. 1,000 bench. Over 1,000. Nine something pull. At least. He's yeah. a he's a machine, Beast. man. Yep, he is. All right, Drew Howard. Neutron. Um, Drew Howard really like three... Times three sets of 33 reps. 33 band push, up, push downs every bench day. 
and day after for recovery. Yep. I do it the day after my speed and accessory day also. Grows the triceps like crazy. Got it from Louie. Helped me a lot. Three times 33. Okay. I think it's a 33 band push up, push downs. I keep wanting to say push ups, push downs. Yeah. That's not what the mini band. I use those for um, elbow um, healing power, but um, I'm assuming it's a light band or something over the top. You can do those at home too. You just throw them over a door and do your thing while you're watching TV. At least I do. Matthew Brooks. Pretty straightforward. I appreciate the insight on your training. Yeah. Yeah, no bell, no smoke and mirrors and bells and whistles, just uh, just things I know at work. And the fact that I know it works is because everybody that comes and train with us, they get strong and it works. But always looking for something new to throw in, you know, the new new stimulus, new something or other. You know, sometimes the body gets acclimated to things and you need to do a little bit something off beaten path a little bit, you know, something a little, little risque, whatever. Matthew Brooks. Oh, Alex Estrada. Ryan, how long did it take you to break Rychek's record? When did Rychek break the record? What year was that? 2005? I wasn't Rychek. Uh, Mendelssohn broke it when he brought his own weights to his contest at the uh, Fit Expo in 06. Um, I believe uh, what, what Mendelssohn hit, 1010 or something. And then No, Rychek came back and did... 10 10 and then because Mendelssohn and Richlack were trading that bench trading at two two pounds or whatever at a time and then uh, I guess I wasn't me until 2007 so I guess three years when I went over in the Ukraine and was freaked out at that meet because first off we didn't have food second off it was uh 150 degrees in the warm-up room dark Kilo plates that had no numbers on them, and you couldn't see. I remember I told this story, but it's kind of funny. We're warming up back there, and then we were kind of rushed. I'm like, Paul, what what's on the bar? And he goes, I don't know. Hand it out to me. And I took it out, and I was in my shirt, and I go, I think that's 700. I think that's – we didn't even know what the weight was. And then we went out, and, um, yeah, I saw Rob uh, – oh, God, uh, Rob uh, – what the hell, Rob? Rob Luanda was – going to bench and i was like okay rob's here he's going through the same trauma i am let's see if he gets his lift he gets his lift i go okay that's confidence i think i can get mine he got his i'm i should be fine so i think three years matthew brooks so how does one get one of those team bench monster t-shirts i just gotta have more of them made I, you have some though. i do have some laying around um Send me um, an e uh, something to my email and uh, ask me about a size, and I will go into the box back here. I just had to take a whole bunch of them back. Dig this, because they spell uh, one of the shirts. One of our slogans is "We're ready for war." Well, they spelled "were ready." You know, "we're ready." Uh, w e apostrophe e r. And it was very embarrassing because Heinz was wearing one at a meet a month ago in Vancouver uh wrpf meet and i'm standing in the back talking to somebody and i look up and he's standing up proudly in the team bench monster shirt turned around and it's misspelled and i'm just having a panic attack i said get back here and i came home and dug in my box found six other shirts had to go over there and have them redone but uh yeah i need to make more of them up yep just yeah, email if you're interested. your size and that you want one and we'll go from there yeah um we do have some extras and there's three slogans. There's anytime, anywhere, anyone. We're ready for war and bench till you bleed. And there'll probably be some more slogans coming soon. Uh, Drew Howard, please read this. I appreciate Drew uh, laying out the training advice here. After a heavy bench cycle, I'll go down a bit and hit some sets of 10, 8, and 6s. A lot of volume. Or 6 to 8 sets. Get a ton of volume for a couple weeks. Then go back to training heavy threes, twos, and ones. Okay, Drew, you need to fly up here and hang out with us and bench with us now. I don't know where you live, but uh, this is a pretty cool place to live. That's just because I'm here. There's nothing else really here. A nuclear reactor out there. So you'll glow green and probably die soon, but we all drink the water. We're all fine. <laughs> we get strong here. How are Ryan Garden? Ryan, I have started doing a mid-grip five sets, three reps. 
bench variations after my main max effort lift twice a week on either day, max effort or dynamic effort day. Good. That's an, an, an extra exercise. And uh, the fact that you're uh, mid gripping it, uh, more triceps involved, a little harder probably, and it would probably be a good thing to do. Don't be afraid to add a chain or a band and make it a little harder. Or, or some fat grips or, you know, Mr. Basic Helix. Mr. Basic Helix Loop. When will you be making a carpet press tool for your bench workouts like Jimmy Cove? You mentioned it in a previous show. Yeah, Jimmy Cove has a foam press. I want. I just need a four foot by, um, I don't know the, uh, the width because that will determine how round the carpet will be. And, you'll, and you put duct tape around it and you have this carpet roll. You put it on the chest, you come down. Unlike a board where it stops, the carpet, the, the, the weight is going to transfer into the carpet. And I think it's going to be a little bit more beneficial than a board. Because with a board, you come down and you have a tendency to like, it, you know it's going to stop it and it's going to protect you. See, with the carpet, uh, depending on how tight you rolled it up, you come down and it's going to sink into a little bit, which I think is going to be kind of cool. Might even, I don't think it'll help out of the hole with it, but I, I just got to find somebody or just go to a carpet store and dig around in the back and find just some carpet. Where was it where there was some carpet? We were in a house and there, I asked if I could somewhere and I didn't take it. I didn't have a box knife to cut it, but yeah, I, I need to make it up because that's a, a, a great um, exercise. You know, the carpet press instead of the board press, you do the carpet press. So when am I going to do it? I when I can find some carpet. I really don't want to go buy a piece of carpet because I know that carpet stores have a lot of extra, or houses that are ha you know, having. You can find it in dump sites of new houses. Maybe right where they're at the point of uh, putting carpet in the home and yada yada yada. So more than likely, I'll have to buy it. Drew Howard on the mental side. I go into every workout believing and knowing I can do whatever I bring down to my chest. I leave all doubts out of my mind. I go to a spiritual level, and I'm hyper-focused. I need to do that. Is there a pill I can take? Because I walk through the door, and you know, I'm just wondering if these old bones are going to be able to handle it that day. I'm just joking. I just use a crutch as you know, because I'm old age. How are wine garden? I got it from an old Louis video and it seems to be worth awesome. it. Awesome. And that's called making progress, moving forward. Not in a rowboat with one oar trying to climb a Vaseline rope. You're moving forward. Yeah, we got people on here who's, who've got plans and they execute and they kick ass. I love it. Intuitive. Yes. Matthew Brooks. Matthew Brooks. Something I did for a long time before getting in my shirt was raw triples to a two, three, or four board up to a three rep max and then getting in the shirt after kind of old school metal militia yeah i might have to go back i said you know i saw my video posted uh back in the day when i used to do a lot of shirtless work i would do three board two board with a lot of band and a lot of chain and i did it raw and then uh i put the that was back when you put the shirt on you know a couple of weeks out that era but it helped me hit 800 so but i was really strong raw so because back then you had to be, you know, if you had a, those denim shirts didn't give you carryover like band shirts, mm -hmm. you know, that's, you had to be strong. But I don't know if I could do the shit I did back, you know, where I put like 500 on the bar and 175 pounds of band tension to a three board with pinky on the ring. Shit, probably bury me right now. Oh. Uh, the seven months of being down with the stupid neck thing has fucked me, man. It just is not coming back. It's taking its own sweet oh, ass it's time coming back though Every, where you cody, were this time last cody year. breaks his arm but he's back stronger than ever rye hove stronger than ever I, I have a neck issue for seven months weaker than ever oh Shit. you're, come, you're oh, making progress you can't yeah. think of where you were this time last year yeah um matthew brooks matthew brooks it always seems like the shirt work was feeling lighter after the raw board work for some reason I, I agree with that. See that? Totally. Matthew Brooks, I was thinking Jimmy's carpet board was foam rather than carpet. If so, you can use an old couch cushion foam or just get 
foam from Hobby Lobby and glue it to a half yeah, horn. Yeah, he said I can go to Walmart and get that foam and put it on a board. And um, he sent me the picture of it and how to make it, too. So I definitely want to do a carpet press first. I've always been talking about that for years. Somebody said, hey, I got some carpet when we never hooked up and I was able to go get it. So if anybody's got any old carpet this around this uh, ho-dump town here I live in, I need some. Anybody got some extra carpet some shag out there? shag carpet. What do you got next? Drew Howard. Using a less aggressive slingshot or single ply band helps also for me. Let's me overload a bit and doesn't give me too much support right. as multiply. So I still have to muscle the weight up a lot more. And we train that. Yeah, we'll come in with the, the slingshots. You know, I have the Colossus big gigantic one. I have the Atlas gigantic one. I have the Bumblebee, which is a step down, and I have quite a few um, uh, F8 Widowmakers that are um, just normal. And I actually found my old school uh, black and gray, the ones I had back in the day. Who made those? Dark Side. And um, they're a little stretched out, but uh, yeah, a less aggressive one and uh, make, you, make you do most of the work instead of uh, like that, uh, like, the, like the one that one rep was wearing tonight, that neon green one. I like that one. Yeah, it's cool. And and uh, Colossus, same size. That we've told that story before. That thing, you know, it's it's like what uh, what one rep was wearing, but it's out of the Colossus material, and it's one we put on at six hundred, and you get handed out, and it does this, dances at seven hundred, eight hundred, and finally at nine hundred, it comes out, and it doesn't wiggle. It was really weird. It was like nine hundred is the starting weight for the Colossus bench band. So, and I got to get in that Colossus shirt uh, again. Um, I need to get a full uh, analysis of it and decide what is going wrong with it. And if, uh, like I stated last week, if the neckline is Im impinging on the ability for that material to stretch because it's st stapled into the material that would flex across the front of the chest panel. And I need to work on my form. Uh, I noticed on the video tonight and after I watched it uh, Wednesday morning that it's important. You need to listen to me. I'm, I'm looking your direction. Uh, I'm, I'm having a bad habit of uh, when I take the weight out in the band shirt and I break the bar. Well, that brings my elbows to eight and four. Now, when I lower the bar, I, I think it's a little bit more out to get this part of the shirt to stretch. I keep reverting back. To, I mean, it works, but I think there's more in the shirt if you can kind of. I watch Rob Farrell bench. I watch, uh, I watch people on the band shirts bench, and I always watch where their elbow placement is and how they're activating the material. So... There'll be more to come from this kid. It's uh, I just keep thinking I'm I'm in a shirt that I can do that. I mean, Jimmy Kolb kind of benches like that, and he does thirteen hundred. But I think to get the full maximum out of some of these shirts, you gotta you gotta stretch this part of the shirt here and not not tuck elbows. Because when like, like I said before, you tuck, it's just it, it's this part is gonna stretch, not this. So I don't. What do I know? I'm gonna oh, go raw. Gosh. Screw it, Julius. Come for you. Go. Be there in two minutes after I rip off my arm. I don't think that'll help your case. 700 raw. Here we go. Kill me, dead, gone. You better have a memorial meet. The Bench Monster Classic. God we damn will. you people. We will. Okay. Definitely. Hey, that's all for the night. And uh, what's next Thank week? You. A deload for us? Good. Get to chill a little bit and uh, regroup. And uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be good. Looks like it's going to get colder here. I don't know what the weather is in your neck of the woods, but... We're going to have a high of 60, low of 38. It's going to be uh, definitely fall is gone and pre-winter is here. Well, uh, trick-or-treating. Are we going to have trick-or-treaters this year? Do I need to carve yeah. a pumpkin? Yeah, we're going to have, I would assume we'll have trick-or-treaters. COVID is not going to keep them away? We got. Is it normal? I think it's pretty normal. Okay, we better get some candy then. I don't think people are going to let that. Do and that. not so much that we are left over with a lot because I need to lose a little bit of my belly. And my wind. I got to get out and start walking and... I know on speed bench, man, I'm huffing. Just and I blood lead already. I mean, it's not thick blood. It's just conditioning is kaput. Sled pulling, treadmill. I, I just was trying to hang that flag over there tonight, and uh, I was pushing up and putting the pins in it, and I got down and I was. <laughs> I don't know why. Hmm. I'm out of shape a little bit. I know. I know when I'm in top shape, and I'm not right now. So. Got to clean up the diet. Get on. Get up in the morning in the cold. Did you already take my ear pods? 
you know, go out and you know walk down, yeah, do my mile jam. in twenty minutes, huh? Clean jam. I don't care. I I just gotta get I'm out and get and walk in the morning. That's much. when your fat burning ability is at its highest, and it's good to do cardio, especially in cold too, because you burn more calories when it's cold. So get off my ass and quit being lazy, lazy man here. Howard Wine Garden got a question. Howard Wine Garden. Yeah, I started to try to keep my elbows at eight and a half and four and a half until it starts to slow down and then tucking the elbows as hard as I can in the Colossus. Yeah, um, I did that once and it was really weird because it, it, it came out with tons and tons of support. And then once you do that, it kind of drops at the bottom. It's weird. But when it binds up and there's not nowhere to go, then you kind of got to move them in a tad, I would assume. So I, I'll find all that out when I uh, we start doing some openers here. I think that's going to be in the next few weeks. We're going to bring in a moderate band shirt, not a super duper one, but a middle of the range and, uh, and have everybody get comfortable touching. Because like I said, board presses, you know, they, they, they kind of fool you in thinking, oh, you know, it's only this much more down. Well, it's a, it's a whole different game when you got to touch. It feels like you're going three inches past your torso, and it's really, you're touching your chest. So you gotta get comfortable doing that, because you gotta do it to me, and I need to get comfortable doing it. I've touched once, I think, in that uh, Viper 2, the green shirt. I think I touched 800, or, or kissed it, or something, I remember. That's the shirt I'm probably gonna use to open with, so. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again, if you're watching the show and don't know, please send videos send to benchmonster at gmail.com. Dark, dark side, if you want to get some uh, discounts, use benchmonster10 when you go there. That's free shipping, ladies and gentlemen. We like the word F-R-E-E -E in this country. Just think if gas was free. It'd be a beautiful thing, wouldn't it? Oh, can you imagine how much money we'd all have? Oh, we'd be rich. Extra money, I mean. Yeah, it's a nightmare out there, people. Yeah, it's rough. Numb nuts. F'd it up, day one. Closed the pipeline. Do not like this guy. Lost jobs. Really screwed us over. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. He couldn't he couldn't it. he couldn't die fast enough. I, I don't I'm just saying that. He yeah, but even when he does, his backup, I mean Oh. That lady, that that dumb lady, well, she is no no good either. Yeah. She couldn't she couldn't no. no. Anyway. No. Hey. Everybody stay safe this week. I don't know what's going on. World Series coming up next week, this week. Is that next week? It's coming. I mean coming up. Getting, they gotta be getting I'm gonna watch, yeah pretty close here so yeah I'll, 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 I'll watch that teams are and oh yeah hell yeah i don't care who's in it but i'm gonna pick a side and and watch it root for him hell yeah yeah and I'll then watch. uh are we gonna go are we gonna go see the halloween movie or not i want to it's the same shit every year with with care. uh laurie strobe it's Myers, the same. we gotta watch it it's supposedly the last one finally i'm just not buying this shit it's, i'm so burnt out on it probably isn't the last one even though it says halloween ends I mean, I think Evan Yonker text, texted me or emailed me today asking me what my favorite Halloween movie was. And I said, he says Halloween 2. And I said, you know what? Halloween 2 is my favorite also. My second favorite is Halloween 4. And I guess on the DVD, there's uh, extra bonus footage that really ties in the end. And I'm going to have to go buy the DVD, I guess, to get that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be worth it. Yep. Ter Tariff are going to come out, part two? Is that coming? Should be soon. I thought that was October 20th. Probably oh, won't come out the theaters. Probably soon, yeah. Probably straight I to Blu-ray. I thought Blu -ray. it was going to this time. Um, well, people are passing out in movie theaters because of it, right? Who told us that? Somebody told us Did in the Jordan say that. Some, yeah. People are uh, so it's so gruesome and grotesque that people are passing out in movie theaters. So, not sure if they'll bring it here. I'm sure. Hmm. Practically, they say that they've got worse scenes than the the, the first one. I, that's how I want to see it. Gro oh, gross, yeah. That was bad. I don't know. Uh, get Drew Howard's like, in here and we'll shut this down. Worst nightmare. Um, Drew Howard, if I didn't live on the other side of the U.S., I'd be there every bench day. I, I live in KY. Kentucky. If I ever move states, it'll be to Washington so I can train with you. Nice. That would be so cool, Drew. Hell yeah. Join the Bench Monster crew. It's hard to find people, and I say this all the time in the gym, you know, I'm not wanting to hurt or injure anybody that's training. I'm I'm always cautious because... You know, you look at the door at the fucking front door and there's nobody lining up there that want to come in and do this and try this and and commit to this training and, and team. It's 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 just a, it's another job. It's painful. It's hard. It's uh, it's you know, you really have to have a, a screw loose, I guess, to do the stuff that we do. And um, some people have it and some people don't. But 
we found we found Jose at Gold's Gym. Hines saw him benching 405 raw, and I said, "Well, bring him in." He's came in now for six months, and he's handling a thousand pounds now at 250 body weight. So yeah, wish wish we had people. Then again, you know, I I might get tired of this state. I have two times. One time moved to Texas. One time moved to Florida. I'm known to up and leave and say adios to this dump once in a while too. <laughs> it's got so much. I got so much stuff. Like, it'd be hard to just move. Yeah. Got boats, cars, trucks. And this can come with you. Yeah, just haul it up and go. <laughs> hey, let's rock I and roll. I want to move though. My whole family's. Right. I know. That's where I like it. I don't have a family no more. <laughs> um, <laughs> just me and my cat. What about me? Yeah, you. Cat first. I see that. Yeah. That's nice. He's my man. He's been sick lately, too, and I've been nursing Aww. him back to health. Got a virus. Had to get on a, a, a moxicillin. So sad. Z pack or something. That way. We, I think we talked about it last yeah. week. He's doing a lot better, though. Oh, he's back to his normal self. He's, he's, he's back to being naughty. He's power, and... power raping your arm the other night. Oh, God, he was. A neutered cat, and he's still doing this stuff. He it's does. really weird. And then he gets mad when you try to, like, move him. Right? He shouldn't be doing that. He doesn't have any nuts. I don't know what's going on. But doctor says the He's adrenal still... gland can produce testosterone in cats. I didn't know this. And so I get raped in my own home. Sometimes Help in the bed out. at night while you're sleeping. Own... Yeah. I wake up to it. Yeah. So he sleeps into regular. the bedroom and stands on your arm and gets his wiener out. It's gross. Fuck. It's disgusting. I mean, sorry about that, but it's that's disgusting. what animals do. That's Dogs my... do it too. Cats hey. usually don't, though. It's not a very normal thing. The doctor, the vet didn't seem concerned. And, and Read Drew Howard's it. here, and then we got to go because I got to get some food. Those cheeseburgers are, better, are calling my name. I still think you're the Michael Jordan of bench. I want that title someday, but you're still the man. Be nice if there was a pill. LOL. Uh, thank you, Drew. That's nice. Yeah, I That's busted nice. my ass and put in the work, and it was a fun ride. And it's fun to have learned from everybody and continue to learn. And Get advice from Drew Howard. Get advice from, uh, what's his name again? David G. Robert G. And uh, yeah, I'm always looking for extra things Yeah. to break up the yeah. boredom of my training and throw in things for the crew and Anybody that's treat them like success. guinea pigs. And, say, and if it works, you know, we keep it. If it doesn't, we throw it out. But uh, that's the, the fun. Yeah. Anyway, we'll be back next week. Same time, same oh, place. Yeah. I'll get a hold of Dan Bell. I, I promise I'll text him. Week, I know. I mean... I've been busy. It's been, it's been if, if I, I could sit and tell them what's really been going on, it, let me vent on that. That'd be therapeutical for me, but they don't want to listen. Oh, yeah, They're they watching baseball listen. and football. We didn't yeah. find out what football game was on the night or what was on. The Raiders? Is it going to take forever? No. Yes. Um, it was the Saints and the Cardinals. Cardinals won oh. 42 to 34. Kyle Murray. Hmm. Be interesting to see. The Eagles are undefeated still. I don't know how they're doing that. Anyway, Ashley, then, say goodbye. Oh, I, I was going to tell you what was next. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining this week. Oh, Howard Weingarten bench script video. Ha ha ha. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah. I gotta bring the. Um, I gotta. Oh, somebody wants a back workout, so I'm gonna bring my vi my uh, camera you say in. Say that all the time. Saturday. Nobody believes it. And anymore. I'm gonna film my back workout, and then I'll just go ahead and turn the music off, and then um, I'll do a grip, how I set up and how I how I do my thing. Just remember and know who you are, the bench monster. Walk in and show them who's boss. Always going to be a huge fan, and I appreciate all the support you've gave me. I want to see you hit 1,200 plus. God, I really want to, too. I want, I want, I want to master nice, these Drew. damn shirts and, and um, yeah, have everything just come together. You know, the training, the, the proper uh, deloads and uh, deload transformation into the meat and show up and give it my best. I don't know what that'll be. Um, I like to think it'll be 1100 plus. I don't know about 12 yet. I got to establish ground in the 1100 uh, Avenue first. So but we'll see what happens. You know, I might get, uh, well, I think once I find it and have that confidence again, you know, I'll probably want to compete more often and because I'll have it down but right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm constantly just, I don't know. I'm just not getting it. And it's been years. I, you know, I just, so I just don't bench like this. I know you got to you got to pull that part, and it scares me to death. 
you know, to pull pull peck that way or something. That's why I semi tuck and it works. But I watch time and time again. I watch uh, Pharrell. I watched his uh, Tiny Meeker's Baddest Bench video where he's out there benching thousand pounds at one ninety eight and where his elbow placement is. And then I play half of that over here and I play my video over here and I'm like, it's just it's just like it's like that. It's I'm here and he is like here. That's night and day difference in these band shirts. I'm learning. All right, guys. Love you all. Your yes, family. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Have a great Friday tomorrow and an awesome weekend. Awesome. A great week next week. And we look forward to seeing you guys. Good night, everybody. Good night.